I have a notion that I want to play out in this class. It's called info geekdom. I think you all know what a geek is, or you know what it used to be. It used to be somebody in carnivals that spit off the heads of chickens. Then that was taken on as a term, a badge of honor, sort of, within the last 15 or so years by people who are deeply immersed in some technical discipline. Usually a geek is going to be a software geek in there, really into programming languages, or a hardware geek, or even sometimes a web geek. The kind of geek I want you to think about being in this course is an info geek. So what does a geek have? A geek has a deep understanding of something and a desire to talk about it at that deep level. So in our case, the info geek has a desire to talk about information structure, the, the way information is put together at a deep level. When a couple of geeks are sitting there talking to each other, the rest of the world is blocked out and no one else in the world knows a thing about what they're talking about. They have an insider vocabulary. They have a vocabulary and a set of concepts that other people just don't have. That's also what I want to build inside of, um, inside of this course, is your ability to be that deeply immersed in the subject that when, you talk, when you're talking to other people of the subject, you have your own language, you have your own insider dialogue that other people just, don't, just aren't privy to. Um, but maybe most importantly, what I want to do is establish the geekiness of information right alongside those other kinds of geekiness and give you permission to be an information geek, give you permission, to, uh, permission and also authority to be the kind of person that speaks um, definitively about that subject. And so to contrast it with a, a usual situation, you're at a, some sort of meeting of people at, on a project team and the software geeks are sitting there and they have permission to use their vocabulary. They have the authority to speak about the subject of the, of the meeting. And oftentimes they hijack the meeting using, that, using their insider speak and they make the meeting be about the software, about the, the, the system that's going to deliver information. But when it comes to information systems, it's the information really that's at the heart. It's the information that's at the center. And the information geeks at the table ought to have that same ability. They ought to have that same authority. They ought to have that same stamp that says, we're here to talk about something that's central to this project. And what we have to say is very important. What we have to say can't be duplicated by the conversations that other people have. Geeks are technical. Geeks are down and dirty. Geeks are getting their fingers dirty with, uh, with the doing of things. They're tinkerers. They're making things happen. And that's another thing that I want to give you in this course is permission and the tools and the methodology to get geeky with information, to get tinkery with information, to play with it, to make it do things that, that um, other people haven't made, it do, do, haven't made it do before, to be able to take apart information and put it back together in another way. Just as a hardware geek might sit in the back room tinkering and building computers, I want you to sit in the back room tinkering and building information structures. So that's the overall attitude, the idea that I want to uh, enable in this class, is that, that picture of an information geek, different than the software geek, different than the hardware geek, different than the content person who's there to construct vocabularies, let's say, or understand the user perspective. Those are important things. All of those different things are important. But they're not the information perspective. They're not the information geek perspective. The information geek is a technical person who tinkers with information and makes it happen, takes it apart, and puts it back together again. And that's the idea that I want you to get from this course. You will come out technical. If you started out technical, you'll come out a different kind of technical. You'll come out information technical. And if you started out without much of a technical background, you'll have a technical background. You'll have a technical background in the techniques, the mechanics, the tinkering of information. And that will give you a good solid position to be in any information system project, either in combination with these other ideas of being the taxonomist or being the software developer or being the manager or being the, the content person or being the designer, or specifically as the person whose central concern is the information and how the information is put together.